Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Friday, June 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the pound yen, I still think this first move up is an A. This looks like three waves down, clearly, for an A, B, C, or B. And I believe we're in a one, two, and we're in a wave three, which is eventually probably going to end up looking something like that. Most likely going all the way up to the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected at the bottom of wave wave C, I think we're headed all the way up to about the 203 area. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can start to see the 1, the 2, and then this is all just one big wave 3. As you can see, it is basically making higher highs, higher lows, especially this last section of trend is very, very strong. It looks like we're trying to go past that 100% level, so there's no reason to think this is over. I would definitely still be looking for longs on shorter time frames. Going down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, you know, you can see what I think is probably a 1. This is probably an ABC of two and this right here is all part of a wave three it doesn't look like it's respecting this hundred percent level i don't see any reason to think that this uptrend is over i see no break of structure i see no bounce off of fibonacci level i think we're in a wave three and i'm definitely still going to continue to look for longs on sort of time frames so going down to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame our most recent swing is way down here so even if it does make a move to the downside unless it breaks this low right here i am definitely still looking for longs in an uptrend if it does make a pullback that's really good for us because at the end of the pullback is where i will be looking to go long for the continuation of the uptrend so let's take it right down to the the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, you can see where it looks like a one, two, three, four, five. It definitely has a five wave shape. So it does make sense that it would go down. There's definitely no guarantee that it would go down. It very easily could just keep drifting up. But if it does make a move to the downside, that's really good for us because if it makes three waves down, if it makes an impulsive move up, if it makes a higher low, higher low, those are all the things that I'm looking for to help confirm that that correction is over and that I can go long again again for the continuation of this uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.